Late at night when you're out camping in the Jersey Pines And the leaves begin to rustle and the winds begin to howl When the clouds cover the moon and the skeeters start a buzzing It's time to tell some stories Some tales about South Jersey and everybody's favorite tale very well-known legend that starts out with the storyteller asking you this question. Have you seen, have you seen Mrs. Leeds? He's got hot coals, burning fire in his eyes now. Have you seen, have you seen Mrs. Leeds, 13th child? He's got long, sharp teeth and long, pointy claws. Yeah, he is so very wild. With the feet of a goat and the wings of a bat, he's as ugly as sin, I could sure tell you that. this critter. Well, I'll help you out and tell you that 300 years ago, Mrs. Leeds lived on a great swamp in South Jersey, out at a place now called Leeds Point. Out there, she lived in a little shack on the bay with her kids, 12 kids. Life was hard, life was a struggle. They could only eat what they could catch out of the bay or grow in a little garden around them. They all had to huddle in and sleep in a tiny little shack that was cold and drafty and cramped. Life was hard for Mrs. Leeds and her 12 kids. It got worse. People claim that Mrs. Leeds was a witch. Now it is true that she could mix up a potion and cast a spell as many women could back then, over 300 years ago. But maybe she was just a little bit cranky and grumpy and tired of taking care of 12 kids all by herself and maybe she was a little bit hungry. The legend just goes on and says that Mrs. Leeds had very few friends and life got even worse. You see, Mr. Leeds was a bayman, a fisherman, wasn't around much to help her out. But one day, she found out that things were going to get even more challenging when she realized she was going to have a 13th child. What was she going to feed it? Where on the floor could she put another child? She didn't know what to do. So she thought about it and thought about it and said, I know I'll have to cast upon my child an evil, dark, ancient, wicked spell that'll give it all the attributes of the animals I see around me in the forest. Like long, sharp teeth, long, pointy claws. kept thinking about it and she said I know what else he needs he needs the feet of a goat so he could step surely and safely wherever he goes and maybe I'll just throw in some giant bat wings so that he could fly out of trouble should he ever get into it 
because I want him to be indestructible and independent so he won't even need a mother. So that's what she did. She mixed up the potion. She threw in the usual eyes of Newt, but then those great big wings of a bat, the feet of a goat, Long, sharp teeth, long, pointy claws. Yes, this child is going to have to be a little bit of a monster, a creature. But it wouldn't need a mom to take care of him, would he? So they say on the night this critter was born, he let out a blood-curdling scream. Flew up the chimney and never bothered his mother again. Nope, never bothered his mother again, but bothered everyone all over South Jersey for more than these last 300 years. You see, sightings were discovered and documented. Hoofprints with a long serpent-like tail down the back. Farmers said that some mornings they'd wake up and the cow's milk would have turned sour just from the sight of seeing this creature. The legend goes on that with his fiery breath he burned all the tops of the pine trees in the pine barrens. That's why they're so scrubby and short to this day. This legend just goes on and on. know whether it's too many people hanging out at the Cedar Bridge Tavern, having one too many beverages, or maybe they're hanging out at their own stills in their own backyard, but this story keeps on being told. People keep believing in Mrs. Leeds' unusual 13th child, who is now known the Jersey Devil. So the next time you're camping in the Jersey Pines, you light a fire, you toast your marshmallows, and it's time to tell stories. You better look around, you better beware, because to this day they say that Mrs. Lee's 13th child is still out there. In fact, you can go on a tour and search for this critter with Ocean County Parks around All Hallows Eve. So may I ask you just one more time the fatal question. Have you seen, have you seen Mrs. Leeds? I'm asking you, have you seen, have you ever seen Mrs. Leeds, 13th child? He's got the head of a horse with horns out the sides. He's got hot coals burning fire in his eyes now. Have you seen, have you seen Mrs. Leeds, 13th child? He's got long, sharp teeth and long, pointy claws. Yeah, he is so very wild. Sure, tell you that now. Have you seen? Have you seen Mrs. Leeds, 13th child? Mrs. Leeds, 13th child. Mrs. Leeds, 13th child. Ooh. You know, they say that Mrs. Leeds, 13th child, is still out there flying around or walking through the Pinelands, still looking for his mama. Cause even a critter like that wants his mother after all. And they say, when those winds start a howling, you just might hear the whisper of a cry. 